Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And now let's get started on the Shadow Temple. Starting off by hookshotting across this pit here, which I believe we can hookshot back if we need to. Yes, we can. Uh, but now we have a wall in our way. The shadow will yield only to the one with the Eye of Truth, handed down in Kakuri Village. Kak Kakariko Village. Wow, good, 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 good. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, if we get out the lens of truth, we can actually see that this is just a, a fake wall, basically. We can walk straight through. But also, that this over here is also a fake wall that we can go through and explore. So let's do that. Just all the way through. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Okay, thank you. I'll be leaving now. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Okay. Well, let's take a look at that then. Get out of view instantly. Now, if I'm not wrong, there's also some keys in here to get rid of. Let's get rid of those. I could probably be spending more arrows than I'm currently using. But anyway, by taking out all the enemies... There's a treasure chest for us. Which is more than likely the map, so... Probably? Probably. Got the dungeon map. So now we can have a look at that and see how big this place is. Which, it's decently big. It's it's decently big. Oh my goodness, <laughs> just all the rooms. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, let's go explore some more, since there's actually some more in this area that we can do. So, let's go through here, and I believe... Through here. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Okay, you already said that. Some of the eyes on the skulls are actually lit up slightly. What is hidden in the darkness? Ah, uh, tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. Well, anyway, now we need to just go through here, like that. Using the map makes it a lot easier as well. And now, let's get out bigger on sword again. And get grabbed by one of these hands. Because it's dead hand again. So, let's just get into position. No, please, let me do damage. I don't think it's gonna let me. Anyway. Also, which, what, something else that's interesting is if you have the Lens of Truth, you can actually see where, uh, Dead Hand is gonna spawn by a shadow on the ground, so. I thought that's quite interesting that you can do that with the Lens of Truth. Okay. Please, let me hit you. Nope, it's not gonna let me. That's fine. Grab me. There we go. Just like that. I'm not sure if spin attacking is the best way to do it, but uh, it will seem to work out fairly well for me in the end there. But anyway, another big chest to open up. So let's do that. You got the hover boots. With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside, no traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. I will do that. Also, is there any extra chests in here that I need to grab? Probably not. I think that's just in the bottom of the well. Pretty sure. Anyway, so now we have the hover boots. We can actually equip those if I can get there. So now we have basically ice physics everywhere we go. I think we move about the same speed, but it feels slower. Especially if you move like this and have to stay in the same place because of ice physics. I'm probably going to be 
de-equipping them whenever I'm not needing them. So I'll do that. They look cool. With the little wings on the side, but... Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why are you telling me the secrets of the darkness? Maybe if I just have the Lens of Truth out, it will, won't bother me. Anyway, let's just head right back through here since there's nothing else to do here. Back into the main room. Now, in here, we have this statue thing that we can move around. Make my beak face the skull of truth. The alternative is descent into the deep darkness. So if we move this uh, pillar to look at the wrong way, the whole circle on the ground there will actually fall open and drop you into a pit. Uh, but if we use the lens of truth, we can see that one skull doesn't disappear when we use the lens of truth on it. And that's the skull we need to move the statue towards. Once Link automatically starts moving towards the, the correct uh, skull, you can let go because he'll just keep pulling as well. Or pushing. So there we go. Just have to move apparently. That's not scary at all. But anyway, got that correct, so now that door over there is open. One... Only one who has sacred feet can cross the Valley of the Dead. Well, we do happen to have sacred feet, apparently. Let's equip the hover boots, and let's roll across here. We can only stay in, stand on air for a short amount of time using the hover boots, so... But it's really cool, so... Let's head on down. There's a, uh, what's it called? A Beemos there. Let's get rid of that if we can. I think it might actually take two bombs to get rid of. Yeah. Because they will actually get stunned. Also, I think this is a thing, a thing thing. You know what I mean. If I use Zer's Lullaby? I don't know. Nope. Uh, Sun Song, maybe? Nope. Song of Time? Question mark? Again, I really didn't know what these things were until... Not that long ago, I guess. Hang on. Song of Storms? Fingers crossed? It should be, because there's not many songs left. But anyway, that spawns in one of these spirit things to heal us. Also, it's raining now. In in here. I don't know how, but anyway. Let's get out our Lens of Truth again, because we're going to need that. Because we can see that that way is open. And so is that way. But the way in front of us is not, but we can actually just blow that up. So let's do that. And now we can go that way as well, but we need a key. So let's go find a key. Oh, hello. Just gonna take you out immediately. Uh, you just froze me while I was targeting you and that made weird things happen. It's fine. Just need to take them out. And now we need to get another big chest, so... Let's open this up. And we get the compass, of course. So now we can see where everything is in the dungeon, including the boss, which is on the bottom floor, which makes sense, considering. Everything has to be on the lowest level to be really cool. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff! Oh my goodness, look at all those chests everywhere. Okay, so much treasure to get. Hopefully some of it good, maybe some of it keys, but anyway. Let's head back through here, the beamers respawned, that's okay. I'm assuming that the fairy spirit thing probably respawns as well. Okay. Oh, hello, scythes. This is like the thing in the ice cavern that we had to dodge, basically. Remember, you can duck with your shield if you need to. Or just roll underneath. 
We need to get all these silver rupees. I'm glad that these silver rupees are here again. They don't appear much, so... It's nice to be using them. Somewhere. Can grab them to the side of that, or... Hook shot to that there. Either way. Also, if you, uh, have the hover boots on and go off an edge, you won't jump automatically, you will just hover for a bit. Which makes sense. Now let's take a look at this. One true chest? Just one true chest, okay. Let's grab that, small key. I feel like there's something else here though, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Like there's no sculptor here, there's no extra chest, just... That's just it. Anyway, let's go over this way now. Ah! Pain, only a quarter of a heart, okay. What does this say? This wall, it's saying something. It says, if you want to see a fairy to the other world, come here. Okay. Oh, down we go. Down into this cage. I can hear a skull, skull flip, I don't think it's in here. Also can't get any further out of here, but we can see this room, which is interesting. But I guess for now, let's head back up this way. Hang on, where is that? Ah, don't. Climb, 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 climb. I don't think it's that sculptor is anywhere near us, sadly. Or it is near us, it's just not anywhere we can ac access, so. Let's head on up this way again. And continue now that we have a small key. Just need to get through this room. Oh yeah, that's that's how you want to do it. That's that's exactly how you want to do that. Okay. Over this way. Let's see what's in here. Oh good, this this is good. This is great. And I'm gonna want my hookshot probably. Since there's gonna be a bunch of these big sculptors along this path, they just fall down from the ceiling. Can't run too fast, otherwise you just run into them, which is annoying. But there we go, and we've also got these guillotines? I think that's what they're called. They could be wrong, and I would be okay with that. But I'd prefer to be right. Just don't stand underneath them when they drop, basically. It doesn't hurt you that much, I don't think. But it still hurts, so. There should be one more. No, okay. Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh, good. I don't actually remember if they are in here or not. But anyway, we have... Oh, they are in here. There are actually wall masters. Anyway, let's head over this way. Being careful of that thing there. The bubble. Ah! Let's jump over here. Oh, and we have this thing again. This. Starfos. Don't have to worry about it too much. Also, I think it can drop off the edge and get stuck. Now, Navi's doing the green again, so I'm assuming that means that there's also a thing here. Let's see if it's Song of Storms again. I doubt, I doubt it. Also, it seems like a really weird spot to put it, just after the other one, but I guess that may... Like, if you know that these are here, it makes the game a lot easier, I suppose. Now, let me... Get out my hover boots. We're gonna make it over this way. Because there's also an invisible platform right here, which makes things easier as well. Same with over here, we just need to make sure we make it between the platforms. And the hover boots are quite helpful for that. Just gotta take them off whenever I don't need them though. Well, so this dungeon could be the last dungeon you do if you really wanted to. Since technically you're supposed to do the other dungeon first, but I, 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 this dungeon feels like it's supposed to be the dungeon you do before the other one. It just feels better for some reason. Now let's get rid of you. Okay. Come on. Get rid of the... Get rid of it. 
like like. Also, in the middle of this room is another scythe thing, but it's invisible, so you need to be careful of that. Um, I believe what I'm supposed to be doing in here is actually taking out all of the keys in here. Let's get rid of you. Also, I believe Song of Time block spawns here. If I play the Song of Time. It's a bit random to do that for a couple of recovery hearts, but it's there. There's just so many really random small details that could help you if you really needed it. But you probably don't need it, so... Also, there's two tree chests in that room over there, once we go over there. Okay, that's all the keys. There we go. Let's head on in here. There's also a sculptor here that we can get. There we go. Let's grab that. Very nice. Now let's open up this chest number one. Get a blue rupee, a blue pee. And also open up chest number two, which is invisible, but I know where it is, so I'm not gonna need to use magic for it. Bundle of arrows, that's interesting. This this was all entirely for that gold sculptor. I guess, so. Anyway, let's just head out this way, completely dodging the scythe, even though I'm not able to see it. And let's go in the opposite direction now, from here. Since we can also do that. It's so weird looking at the items and seeing how much of it we've actually filled in at this point. It's kind of crazy. Also, how many sculptors we have? 82, that's pretty good. That's very good, actually. So, what am I missing? Oh, I know what I'm missing, never mind. It's fine. Don't, e don't even need to worry about stuff being missing from my item stuff, because it eventually we'll find them, so... Can I please hit you? Can I please hit you off the edge? Because I know he can go off the edge, but anyway. Let's go off the edge ourselves, onto this platform that goes up and down. Let's go... Over this way. Just like that. Gotta take off my hover boots. Ah! Oh my goodness, please. Gotta take off my hover boots so I don't have to worry about ice physics when there are spike traps. Ah, uh, bombs. For that. Bemos. Oh, I took it out in one go. Cool. Anyway, let's collect all these silver rupees as well. Just one more. Just like that, and that opens up that door over there. So let's go check that out now. Which might also be optional, but unless there's a key in here that I need. Which is also possible because there are several chests in here. I think there's a key. But anyway, let's start off by pulling out this block out of the wall since you can see that if you push it, put it back and use the lens of truth. But you need to be right up against it to pull it out, so. Why is there a spike trap there? I don't know. Also, I believe if you get crushed by these things in here, you actually get sent back to the last room you came through. Possibly this room, or possibly the last last room, possibly. It's more likely to be this room, though. If you get crushed in here. I can hear that sculptor. It's always a good thing. But anyway, we want to move this block underneath these platforms, because then they can't... ...crush us. Now, let's go into here... Get this Sculptula. Just like that. Let's check out some of these treasure chests as well. Since I believe this one here is able to be collected. Bundle of arrows. I should probably be using my arrows a lot more than I am using them. But anyway, we want to pull this block all the way through now. I'm pretty sure we want to, at least. Because there should be a little bit of a ledge behind me. Which, if we pull this block into, means that we can actually climb on top of it. So let's do that. So now we can get on top of these crushes. Now uh, we can also get this treasure chest over here. Blue rupee. And we can also press the switch here. 
What does that do? Oh, that just spawns a chest in this room. Seems a little bit strange to have that switch right next to the chest that you need to or activate part of the switch. But anyway, it's fine. It's just a cool small detail, I guess, so. Get a small key from that chest, and now we can continue. So it was worth going that way, even if you don't need any more Skulltalers. Since you'll only ever need 50 Skulltalers, realistically. But I'm a completionist and must get all of them. Invisible platforms here, which are moving. I should probably activate my hover boots to make this a little bit easier for myself. Okay. Just need to get across there, and we're good. There goes our key. Now in this room we have invisible spikes, but if you have the hover boots, you can actually stand on the spikes without... I thought it didn't take damage from that. Maybe if I just walk over it and then just hover, I guess while you're hovering you don't take damage from the spikes. So, still need to be a little bit more careful than I'm being. But hover boots is help are helpful, so... Now, is there... Yes, there is. I need to get all these things. Although I, th I might actually come... Oh, no, I need to actually do all this first. Okay, that one there, which... No, it's lower down. I thought I knew what I was doing. It's fine. There's also a platform here that's invisible, though. Let's get rid of that one. Get rid of you. Get a chest to spawn in by doing all that. Killing all the enemies. Now, let's get this last... I'm pretty sure it's the last silver rupee. Yep, and that opens up that door over there, so we can know... Now go check that out. Okay, open up the chest, which is probably nothing important. Another blue rupee. There seems to be a lot of blue rupees. It's kind of surprising how many blue rupees there are. Oh cool, I love being locked into places. Also I'm going to take off the hover boots. Before I rage. Get this gold sculptor back here. Here we go. And now let's figure out what we're supposed to do in this room. Which is definitely deal with the fire keys. Because they're going to be annoying. Because the keys would just go through the fire here. And be annoying. Because they light themselves up on fire. To become fire keys. But anyway, we have bombs here now. Which means that we can throw them into this pot here unless we just use our own. Which makes a lot more sense. Can blow up that skull, and it drops a key on the ground for us. Which is interesting because it just drops a key. Now I'm pretty sure that I need to take out the last keys to actually get out of here. Where is it? Oh, is it over there? What is it doing all the way over there? Come on. There we go, that works. Now we can go back through the door. Okay, and now that we have a key, let's go right up to this target up here on the roof, on the ceiling. And now we can go through here. Okay, we're making some good progress, but there's still quite a fair bit to go. Starting off with this room, which is going to be interesting, because we need to use the iron boots to walk into the wind that's blowing into us. And dodge these spike traps as well. Get rid of you. Ah! Walk through, please. Okay, there's also a pit here, so that's going to make things difficult for us since we need to go into the wind, but also we can just use the hookshot to go over that. Okay, let's drop down, please. There we go. Now, there's still a lot of these air blowers just doing their thing. The fans. There's also that eye 
switch up there that will th throw fire at you. Seem to be careful of that. But we can actually take it out by shooting it, I'm pretty sure, as long as the eye is open when it's trying to attack me. That fire almost got me. Please open. Please open. You do open. Do you? Come on. Oh, please. There we go. Got it. That doesn't do anything, though. But, you know. Revenge. That's what really counts. Um, let's take off our iron boots for a second. That works. Oh, is there also another thing in this room? That's interesting. There are so many things. Hang on, I want this. <laughs> Even though it's gonna only heal a tiny bit, I'm sure it's only the Song of Storms, so... Hang on. There's so many of these fairy sp spirit things. Hang on, it didn't do anything. <laughs> well, I guess that's probably because there are... a couple of targets. Unless this is just a different one. Different song. Looks like it. Hang on. If I had to guess any song... Since there are re in this room, it might be the Sun Song? It is. That means that you could find this one by yourself if you played the Sun Song in this room. And you'd be surprised by that, but anyway. Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them. Then they will lead, be led to the hidden path. That's what they are saying. Now, I'm pretty sure there's also a hidden chest in here that we can get. So let's get that as well. Probably... No, just a bundle of arrows. I thought it was going to be a blue rupee again. But anyway... Ah, fire! Need to use the hover boots again. And let the wind guide us, kind of. Except we can just go through this wall here because we don't need to use the wind. Just use the hover boots and you can go through the wall. Anyway, this is the way we're supposed to be going. Now I also need a key by the end of this room. So let's blow up that and take out these enemies. These Gibdos. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness. It's a good thing they apparently don't do a ton of damage very fast. Oh my goodness. Really? Come on. That's a li little bit rude. Anyway. There's a chest for us. But first I want to get the other one that I revealed earlier, which should be right there. Small key, so that's the one we needed. And this one is... Could be another small key, maybe. Nope, just another bloopy. So many blue rupees. So many. Anyway, this room should look familiar to us because we can see this boat here and also that cage up there. Which we can now access by pulling this blocker out of the way. Which opens up a long shortcut to the basically the beginning of the dungeon at this point, considering how far in we are. But anyway, let's push this block over this way. I don't think Faror's Wind would be very helpful in this dungeon. Not that I've used Faror's Wind much, so... It could be helpful if you miss something and need to go back for it. Just, just have it there if you need to quickly go back. But anyway, let's move this block into place slowly. There we go, and now we can get up here. And now, once again, one of the few times that we needed this. The Scarecrow Song. And also the Long Shot. But we should have the Long Shot by the time we get here anyway, so... And just hook shot to over there, Long Shot over there. And get this Gold Sculptula. There we go. So I think I forgot. Nah. Hmm. 
Let's go up here. Okay, let's jump onto this boat here. We can see the Triforce on the ground, so let's play Zelda's Lullaby. Okay, well, while we're on this trip, we need to take out some star foes, or at least fight them off for a little bit. Come on. Also, I've always thought that this boat looks really silly, so... Just wanted to say that. Please. Also, jump attack's just absolutely weird in here because the platform is going up and down. Can I actually block? I don't know if I can actually block or not. Not properly, at least. We're almost at our destination. Might be good to have the hover boots on so you can jump off without having to worry too much. But anyway, let's jump off. And just watch the boat go into place. Because once it reaches the end... Link! This ship is sinking! Abandoned ship! Get to onto a safe platform! And then it just drops. So if you didn't get off fast enough, you go down with the ship. So... Anyway, let's go through this door over here. Since there's a few more rooms that we need to go check out. Starting off with this maze-like room. Now I believe we just want to actually go through... The side door is clockwise. Also, there's some uh, floor masters in here. Are they floor masters? Well, well, I don't know. They're a thing. Also, hello. I don't know how I didn't get hit just then. It's fine. Please take out the small ones before they grab me. Also, it's interesting that this enemy is invisible. But there we go. That's all of them taken out. Which gives us a small chest. Please be something helpful and not just absolutely nothing. Small key, okay, so we did need to come in here. Because I'm pretty sure the way you want to do this is go clockwise through all the rooms that you need to visit here. Just remember that you have Din's fire if you need to take out the enemies without too much problems. Also, you can't use Din's fire or two magical items at the same time, I don't think. But anyway, just take out the small ones like that. Very nice. And let's go through this room over here. This room is a lot like the previous one that we went into. I don't think there's a gold skull slot down here, though. Oh, there is actually. The, wow. How was I that wrong? I knew there was a gold skull floor around here, but anyway, let's grab that. But also there's three spinning pots now here on this platform, so we're going to have to take those out. Up we go. All the way. I'm sure there's also probably something, maybe something here to help you figure out what you're supposed to do, but I guess it's fairly obvious, so... Anyway, let's blow up some stuff, if I can. Okay, first skull. Second skull. Third skull. Drops a whole bunch of rupees. Some magic, I believe. I like the rupees, so... I think that's actually everything in here. That, uh, this room was just for the Sculptor, I guess, so... Anyway, let's head out this way. And go to the next room. Just like that. Okay. 
Okay, and now in here we have two spike walls going towards us. So, I'm going to quickly check something because I've never done this. But I believe... Fire arrow... Does nothing. Let's use Din's fire because that's what you're supposed to do. And that will just get rid of the walls, luckily. Can also take out these... What's it call it? Redeads. In here if we want to. But the main thing is this boss key chest here. Or the boss chest, I don't know what to call it. Boss key, yes! Let's do it! We must be getting close to the end of the dungeon. Which we should be since we've gone through so many rooms at this point. Now, Bloopy? Bloopy. Bloopy. <laughs> There's so many blue rupees in this dungeon alone. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we need to get back to the entrance into this maze-like room. Which I believe can't be that difficult. No. Okay. So we have a small key now and the boss key. So now, we can see this thing here. Which seems to have fallen from that over there, like that pillar would, if it were to fall down. But luckily for us, there's actually some bombs over there. And if we get out, I believe just a regular arrow, don't even need fire arrows. If we shoot one of those bombs, sets off a chain reaction. And here comes the pillar. Creating a nice platform for us to get across. Okay, now I believe I also want Marcarina out. Because I believe if we go. Oh, careful. I believe if we go over here. Oh, I believe. Hang on. Song of Time. I don't know why you'd really need to do this, but you can if you want to. Song of Time block, which we can climb up to get this recovery heart up here. But also, if we play another song, specifically the Scarecrow song, a second time in this dungeon, we can also get up to those hearts up there using the long shot. Uh, but anyway, I don't want that anymore, so, so I'm just gonna get rid of that, and... I don't really know. I don't really know. Let's head over this way. There goes the last key. And right in front of us is the boss door. So now we need to get over there. Which should probably be easier using hover boots. Which I think I'll just need to keep on from this point on. I don't think there's any Skulltalers left to collect. Oh, there might be in Master Quest, but not in this one. Oh, go, 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 go! I don't know how I managed that. Okay. Let's head on in. Phantom Shadow Beasts, Bongo Bongo. So we can shoot his hands to stun him, and we can only see him, his main body if we use the Lens of Truth. But if we play our hands much better than I would have thought we could, oh my goodness, he also tries to punch us off. You probably want to have the hover boots on at all times. But if we play our cards right, he will charge into us with his eye open, I believe. We can actually hit him then if I was better at this fight, which I'm not really. Get rid of that. We can also just shoot him in the face, I guess, to try and do some damage. But I believe if we do enough spin attacks, 
right next to him. When his eyes open, also we need to not be having the eye of truth, lens of truth out during that part. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, where? Oh my goodness, please. Oh please. How did I miss? Come on. Oh, get up, please. Oh my goodness. I believe we have to use the skulls on the edges to actually get up. So if you get knocked off, it's kind of a pain. Maybe I can just go up the side. Can I just go up the side? I can just go up the side. Cool. This is a cool boss, though. Classic Nintendo boss, though. Bongo Bongo, boss of the Shadow Temple, revived from the well. Look at it with the Eye of Truth. Cool, I will. Ah! I was really hoping that those would work, but I guess not. I'm a little bit rusty at this fight, apparently. But luckily for me, I have plenty of extra fairies if I need them. So I might try staying a little bit further away from the edge, if I can. Oh, please. Here we go. If we can actually just spin attack next to him, though, and actually spin attack, you can actually get him in one cycle, which is something I'm bad at, apparently. Please. Dodge out of the way. I did a bad job with that, but it's okay. Oh my goodness, please get up. Can't, I don't think you can get up while Z targeting anything. Okay. Stun you. Please. I think I'm not. I'm really not getting rid of my. What's it called? Lens of Truth when I need to. Please shoot. Okay. Shoot the main body, please. And there we go. Fairly difficult boss, but if you play your cards right and have a lot of health, fairies, and bigger on sword, not too bad. There we go. Heart container. That'll be good for healing, <laughs> since it re recovers all our hearts. Let's go into the light. Play with the noble Zelda's ocarina, as I expected. You have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker. I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked, and Hyrule Castle surrendered. After a short time, Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bound to me to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When, I, when last I saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here, 
You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. N now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. You receive the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. And there we go. That's the Shadow Temple. And that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.